Hello, welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll be discussing how you can keep your workflow organized and efficient when making webcomics by using templates and folders. Links to additional tutorials, as well as everything mentioned in today's video, will be down in the description below. Creating a webcomic almost always involves working on a canvas with a lot of layers. Each panel has its own line art, colors, effects, text bubbles, etc. And when you have multiple panels on a page, that can add up very quickly to an overwhelming amount of layers to keep track of. Fortunately, Clip Studio Paint has a number of features we can use to help organize and streamline that process to make webcomic creation a lot simpler. When dealing with a lot of layers, giving each one its own name is a common strategy in staying organized. But when there's a whole panel full of layers, even different names may not be enough to help quickly pick layers out from one another. In this situation, I like to use the Change Palette Color feature to mark my layers with different colors depending on their type. This works for both individual layers as well as folders. For example, I always mark my line art layers in blue, so I can spot them immediately when I need them. To make it easier to remember, I've put a color chart in my subview panel with each layer color labeled for a certain use case. For an extra level of convenience, you can even create an auto action that will color code and rename your layer for you at once. Just hit record on a new auto action, switch the layer color to your chosen color, then rename your current layer and stop recording. Now it'll only take one click to have full organization. Finally, the Create Folder and Insert Layer tool under the Layer menu is a really easy way to add multiple selected layers into one folder with the click of a button. I've added this tool to my command bar for even more convenience. Keeping your layers organized can be a big time saver overall but actually getting them organized in the first place can be a bit of a headache. Once you've decided how you like your layers organized, creating a layer template is a really efficient way of cutting down on organization time going forward. To do this, create a new canvas the same size as your usual comic page. Then, create and organize your layers as though they had artwork on them. We want to create layers that we consider essential to our process as a way to save time. So things like line art, Base colors, backgrounds, text bubbles, etc. should be labeled and color-coded. For this comic project, I work in vertical format using a varying number of panels per page. So I've chosen to make a template that represents a single panel, so I can drag and drop in more as I need. However, you could also make a template for an entire comic page if you usually have the same number of panels per page. Once you have your layers fully organized how you like them, go to Edit, Register Material, Template. Give your template a name and save it somewhere you'll remember. Now you can use your template by going to the Materials panel and dragging it onto your canvas. All of our layers should appear in your Layers panel exactly how we organize them. Since I made mine for a single panel, I can simply drag and drop additional templates whenever I want to make a new panel. The potential uses for layer templates and registered materials are endless. You could create drag and drop text bubbles using your preferred font and colors, pre-drawn backgrounds with adjustable layers, panel layouts, and more. If you decide to turn any of your assets into materials, I recommend checking the Specify Order in Layer palette box in the Material Property menu so you can set where the layers dropped among your other layers. This is useful for making sure materials don't overlap incorrectly when used together. Those are the basics for how I keep my comic workflow organized in Clip Studio Paint. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.